Welcome to Midwest Sports Net. I'm Joey McWilliams. It's a privilege today to get to visit with not one, but two GAC Players of the Week. That's right. Heston Brown, Megan Brown are Players of the Week in golf. Megan on the women's side, Heston on the men's side. I want to ask you about that as uh, this is the first time that this has happened in the Great American Conference that siblings have received Player of the Week honors for the, the same weekend in a sport like this. Can you tell us what something like this means? Megan, we'll start with you. It's truly an honor, you know, not many siblings going to the same school, get this award and being on the same team, brother, sister, it's truly an honor because we're so competitive and getting it at the same week is just, it's incredible. I like that. Uh, I want to talk about the competitiveness in just a moment. Heston, would you uh, tell us what this means? Um, uh, it's also, I really enjoy it. It's awesome as an older brother, seeing your younger sibling just do the same as you, if not better. Because let me tell you, she got T2, I got T3, and I heard all <laughs> about that. And I'm, uh, we really enjoy competing, not only in our fields, but against each other as well when we get back home and just practicing against each other. And it's, it's awesome. I wanted to talk about that then. As you mentioned, uh, your performance last week, you were at the Tulsa Cup, both of you uh, competing at the Tulsa Cup. Megan, T2, tied for second, and you had uh, one round in which you, you shot a 70. Can you talk about your performance last weekend? Well, uh, it was kind of a struggle a little bit off the tee, which usually isn't where I struggle from. That's my best. But my short game, chipping and putting, it really saved me. Um, I did have my career low, which was two under. Uh, very happy about that. I've been looking forward to you know shooting under par this season, and I finally got it done. So, I'm really looking forward to next season and what I have in store, but you know, it was just a great, great tournament all around. Yeah. It sounds like a fantastic way to close out the fall. Definitely with the, on a high note like that, Heston tied for third, uh, from your performance and opened up with a, a 65 as well. That's your best performance of the fall. Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, how, how, did, how did it play out for you? I finally got my putter going. I've been really close this fall as far as like, I've thrown in a couple under par rounds and stuff, and I've always kind of had a bad round kind of holding me back. But this week, uh, that week, I was able to piece it together and put together three good rounds in a good tournament. We're here on Midwest Sports Net, and we cover small college and more here in the Midwest and beyond. I invite you to please subscribe to the channel as we're visiting with Heston Brown and Megan Brown, the players of the week in the Great American Conference. You all are both competing at Southwestern Oklahoma State University, and not far down the road from Cordell, which is uh, your hometown. You guys got to compete on the high school level together there. Is it any different from one to the other and, and getting to you know go to some of the same events? Very different. Uh, high school, you know, it wasn't taken as seriously as, you know, colleges. We'd go out there and have fun and play. But the next step is college. And when we get here at the same time, you know, these tournaments mean quite a bit more because we travel to places that are so nice. And competing, and Heston and I, each, each time we come home, we want to see who can finish the best. So <laughs> that's kind of what my goal is. When, when you do this, and by the way, if you've been competing like this, let's talk about that for a moment. Uh, do you all ever just, you know, grab the bags and decide, hey, listen, we're going to go out today and actually, you know, see who's the best this week? Yeah. How, how's that play out, Heston? Uh, it's 50-50. Okay. Depends on the tee boxes you're... we play that day. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to plead the fifth on that. I wasn't sure where you were, where you were going. It gets very interesting, though. We, we both have our moments. Well, that hey, listen, and I'm sure that goes a long way for your team then now, for both of you all playing then. Again, for, for the Bulldogs, I, I'm sure that the uh, your teammates appreciate that each one of you wants to step it up just a little bit. Always, yeah. yeah. I try to be a leader in any aspect I can, so... Well, you're talking about the the uh, the next part of the season. You've concluded the fall, and Southwestern uh, does a, a great job with golf, men's and women's golf, both. Uh, what are you looking for as you head into the spring? Then, what what do you do in the off season to get ready? Hit balls, prepare, chip and putt. I mean, honestly, I, for me, I don't really struggle off the tee that much. But if I can have a good short game, then I think I can go under par. So that's one of my main goals for next semester is trying to get some more red numbers out there and 
per performing and, you know, chipping and putting, that's going to be where it's at. Because if you can do those things, I feel like that's where you can get under par. Heston, for Thanksgiving and Christmas and, and into this winter break, what's it look like for you? Uh, for me, um, as a physical standpoint, get in the weight room, get stronger, be prepared for the spring season, work on some strength in my strengths and, you know, and try to build up my weaknesses in my game and tighten some stuff up going in the, in the spring, the championship season and try to get a national championship. That's the goal. And that's what we're hoping to do as a team. This is your final season, Heston, your senior this year, and it, it's your uh, your COVID year on top of that. So, you know, this this is going to be the last go-round. What's the future look like for you? What are some of your goals? Uh, some of my goals, I mean, this will probably be my last go-round for golf as it is. I want to try to find a career. I'm uh, As soon as golf is over, I'll be I'll be getting married. So that's I got, I got to look forward to that, and I'm really excited about that. Congratulations. That's fantastic. Thank Absolutely you. fantastic. Well, then if, if you know this is the last go round, I'm sure that even so in years to come, uh, you'll probably still find time to get on the course together and, and tee it up and, and see who's best. But let me ask you right now, talk about playing uh, with your sibling, each one of you. Heston, we'll start with you playing with your sibling one more one more semester. Just try to push her, you know, I want her to do as good as she can and like if I see her sitting on the couch or something, tell her to go hit some balls. Come on, get better. <laughs> uh, Megan, your response? I'm not going to take it for granted. Honestly, just coming to Swasu and living with each other, that's been like the best part of everything. Um, from a golf standpoint, you know, that last semester, maybe get out there and have some few more competitions than we normally would before he, before he leaves me and then, I'll just have to leave those memories with him that I'm the better Brown sibling. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, that that's cool. Well, well, maybe we'll know a little bit more in the spring semester as, as you all are competing, hopefully for a national championship. For Megan Brown and Heston Brown, thank you so much. Players of the Week in the Great American Conference at the same time, that's something also that you all will be able to keep for a lifetime and, and remember this. So I appreciate you all taking time with us today. Thanks for stopping by here on the Summit. Thank, yes, you, for Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us.